it would surprise you if Serena won this thing and then decided to keep going and changed her mind. Well, Tom Brady did that. <laughs> Tom Brady didn't win in his last time on the field, but he retired. Now he's decided to keep going despite his 11 day break uh, in the middle of training camp. So you had a great story, Jim. I love this story. You talked to a lot of people about how, you know, what it's like for them, what it has been like for them to face Brady, what it will be like facing Brady in his final season. And I would ask you what what you learned, but you know, we don't have enough time for that. I guess uh, tell us a couple of uh, your favorite things from the story because it's it's just ch it's a treasure trove of of uh, insight and Brady information. Yeah, you know, I talked to nearly two dozen people, and obviously they all didn't make the story, but the the thread was similar, or you know, the common thread that ran through all of them was just a respect and a reverence for everything that Tom has done and who he is, and. The things that kind of stood out to me just in terms of comments was one hearing Ryan Clark who head to head against Brady, whether with the Giants or with the Steelers was one and three. And he said one of the things with Tom when you're playing him is you're not just playing the man in front of you, you're playing the ghosts of Brady past. And he says you remember all of those comebacks and things that he had every time you get in, in the game with him. And he said we might be dominating and a young player or rookie might say man what's the fuss about with this guy he's not all that and then you as a veteran would have to kind of set him down and say look lock in that's still tom and the other thing that stood out to me was raheem morris who you know was on that atlanta staff that lost to the patriots in the super bowl after being up 28 to 3. And then last year in the playoffs with the rams as defensive coordinator they got up 27 I believe 27 7 or 3, whatever it was. Tom led, him, led the Bucks on 20 straight points. And all of a sudden, it's like Raheem is going to experience this again, you know, of, of a heartbreak against Tom. And they didn't, which he said he was happy about, obviously. But the thing he said to me that was so interesting, he said, whenever you're playing Tom, you have to go in with two game plans. You have to go in with a game mm. plan for the first half, and you have to go in with a game plan for the second half because he is going to adjust to whatever you're doing and you have to try and stay one step ahead of him. You can't run the same stuff that worked in the first half in the second half. And I thought that was phenomenal in terms of speaking to Brady's greatness. Yeah, you know, this is all this is all interesting. And and it's it's all it's all just new territory for Tom Brady. You know, we know most quarterbacks don't play until 45. If they are around at 45, they're backups or they're just not reliable. They may be starters, but not reliable starters. You know, guys have played for a long time. They, ha they haven't played at an MVP level. Can he continue it, as he said, with all the other stuff going on? So you usually don't have to think about that because by 45, all right. <laughs> I'm done with I'm done with sports. I don't have to worry about all this stu other stuff. He's got to actually balance 45 year old stuff in a kid's game. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.